So in this video, we're going to be going over some applications of derivatives. So uh, there are many application derivatives, and one of them is actually sketching out an uh, entire graph uh, using derivatives. So we, we just we, we don't only in calculus one, we just don't uh, learn how to solve derivatives and calculate derivatives, but we actually need to apply those to uh, actually sketching graphs or real life problems. So uh, critical points for, I'm gonna start with the definition of what uh, critical points are. So <coughs> we say that x is equal to c is a critical point of a function f of x if f of c exists and if either of the following is true. f prime of c is equal to zero or f prime of c is e equal to d and e. So, what this is simply saying is that uh, once you take a derivative of a certain function and you try to uh, you find its roots, if it's a polynomial or uh, so if it's, if it's a polynomial, uh, it's saying that uh, the critical points are the points where uh, the roots are found and uh, the points where the function does not exist are found. So. To give a quick example of trying to find a uh, critical critical points of a certain function yes what we're gonna do now is try to find the critical points of let's see uh let's do f of x is equal to 6x to the fifth plus 33x to the fourth minus 30x to the third plus 100 <clears throat> so let's find the find the critical points. So the first step, the first step to, for this uh, problem like this, is going to be, uh, let's see, finding the first we calculate the derivative of uh, f of x. So what we're simply going to be doing is taking the derivative of f of x, and we've already we already know how to do that. So 30x to the fourth, that's the derivative of 6x to the fifth. So 33, the derivative of 33x to the fourth is 132x to the third. Derivative of 30, uh, negative 30x to the third is uh, let's see, 90x squared, and the derivative of 100 is just zero, so we don't need to write that. So this is our derivative right here. 30x to the fourth plus 132x third to the third uh, minus 90x squared. So now, well, what we can do, the second step would be to just how you f just like how you factor a normal polynomial you factor the polynomial and find the roots so uh the first thing we're gonna do is actually pull out some like terms so some like terms i see here there are six six x squared we can pull out a six x squared from this so like that's what we're gonna uh, do so six x we're gonna pull out a six x squared so, so 30x to the fourth divided by 6x squared is just uh, 5x squared. Uh, 132x cubed uh, divided by 6x squared is just 22x. And uh, 90x squared divided by 6x squared is just negative 15. So now we can continue on factoring 6x squared. This is 5x, 5x minus 3, and x plus 5. So th this is our, this is our, uh, these are our roots, basically. So now that we know that our derivative basically exists everywhere because it has a, a, a certain number of roots, and uh, 
so we need to make sure that each of these uh roots actually make uh the function uh, the, the the derivative of the function f of x equal to zero so all we really need to do is just set each each of these roots equal to zero so over here this root is equal to zero 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. And when we solve for this, it's going to be uh, x is equal to 3 over 5. <coughs> and then we solve for here. X, uh, when we solve for x plus 5, we get x is equal to negative 5. And these right here are our critical points. So our critical points... The critical points of f of x, the critical points of f prime of x here are x is equal to negative 5, x is equal to 0, and x is equal to 3 over 5.